Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and I'm back with some fake Grand Order this time. Actually playing another gachi game. Uh, so if you're watching this, chances are you did not see it on my Twitter. Because I've decided to start trying, at least during this quarantine, trying to release three videos a day. Don't know how much that's gonna pat that's gonna last me, because eventually I think I will get kind of burned out because I only have like a specific time to actually record stuff. Um, and you never know when I could suddenly get crazy busy with my dumb work that sometimes doesn't work but yeah that's today's video that's actually going to test that me trying to record more than one more than two videos just because currently it's pokemon and then there's um jugalia and if you don't like either of those things then kind of i'm not there for you so i want to try and get back and do some other weird stuff i'm gonna call this specific game these are going to be work these are going to be released during when wokey's is sleeping <laughs> so i i won't i'll be asleep when you see this chances are because uh, I have a weird-ass sleep schedule. But today's video is Fake Grand Order. I'm in the story banner, and we're just going to play That's It. Oh, hello. I would love to use you, but unfortunately you don't have a good CE on. So I'm not going to use you. Should really They do eventually fix that. I knew they fixed it in the JP version, where um, guest servants actually have something good on them. But eh, that's what I say to them. And they're trying. Eh. I should actually give him a, a CE that gives point uh, friend boost stuff, and then I'll actually use them and stuff. Because otherwise, if they don't have that, then I'm not going to use them. Uh, let's see. I need a saber. So we're going to go Mo. Who's dressed perfect for the winter. And for the other one... We may as well keep with the theme. We'll go Betty. Oh, Black Betty. Okay. And of course, this is in section 9 of the story, so if you don't want to get spoiled, then unfortunately this is the time for you to stop looking. But also, you should leave a like if you end up liking this video, by the way. <laughs> Putting a lot of effort into this, damn it. Halt! This is Woki, and I am Averbron. We are members of the Rebel Army. Please open the door. Oh, it's you guys. Perfect timing. What do you mean? The boss has another favor to ask. They were in Russia, so this is my Russian. So he wants you to help hashing things out before the servants. That's actually my French. I'm going to stop trying because that's a shitty Russian accent. That's a terrible Russian accent. Hey there. Hmm? Where's the other one? Where did Mash go? Hello, Paxi. I hope you find me cutting in remotely like this. That's better. <laughs> I was reassigned to the rear guard. Ivorus is here now, so I can only have so much help in battle. So for the time being, I'll be supporting you as a navigator. Oh, huh. All right. Anyway, you looked pretty tough to me, but I guess I was wrong. Damn, Paxty. Aye. So you have returned. Paxty told me everything that happened. You did well convincing two of the three villagers to help us. It's a shame that the third village was destroyed, but there's nothing we can do about that now. It also was technically the second village. I take it that Mash is bowed out. Yes, I'm so sorry. Listen, girl, you're literally dying. It is fine you have your reason, so I will not pry. If you have determined you are unable to fight, then removing yourself from the battlefield is the only sensible decision. Now then. Wink. While you were visiting those two villages, we learned about another possible ally. Well, it's safe to say that most of the frontier area's population is on our side. We still have precious few actual soldiers who are able to fight. Understandable, given that most of them are mere villagers. You see, there's actually another faction here in Russia, in addition to the Tsar's Oprenekete in our rebel army. Our numbers are primarily composed of farmers, but they are deserters and former nobility. The problem is that this faction is also led by a servant. <gasps> Do you know who they are? I've met him once. I still know little about him, but I believe he was a class similar to my own. He also, um, uh, he also um, wasn't wearing any clothes. Was it Roland? You mean full frontal? <laughs> of course not. His lower half was completely covered. That would never fly among us either. At any rate, given that their leader is also a servant, it fails to me to meet with him. Avabras, I would like you to keep an eye on our base while I'm gone. Would you mind? What do you say, Master? Do it. 
Very well, your wish is my command. I'll leave your golem as it is then. Atlanta, would you give me a golem as well? No, thank you. I have no need for any vehicle. My name is famous for a reason. Ah, yes, as I recall, you were the fastest runner in all Greek myth. Poxty, I want you to come with us too. There's sure to be some suspicious if we come without at least one Yaga. Furthermore, I'm told that they're a hunter, so I would like you to kill and dress any beast we find along the way. I could do that as well, but I doubt the same is true for the Chaldean. Got it? I can do that. Well, Wilkie, it looks like you and I are heading it out together again. Uh, I'm glad to have you with us, Boxty. Boxty? Then it looks like we're good to go. Alright, Boxty, would you tell Yashkia to come here? You got it. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Why does the kid have, like, the luxurious hair? Ha <laughs> ha! Looking around here, I see kids playing, old folks relaxing comfortably, and farmers tilling their fields like they don't have a care in the world. For some reason, it makes me sick. I have such a clear image of what the rebel army's life must be like. I imagine brave soldiers proudly risking their lives to defeat Ivan the Terrible. But now here I am, and I see it for what it is. A bunch of weakling Yaga with nowhere else to go. Kids, the elderly, farmers, this is their refuge. And that human-looking monster is the only thing keeping them safe. Yeah, dude, your people suck. Hey, you're Yaksha, right? Huh? Yeah, that's me. Boss wants to see you. Some kind of message before we head out. Got it? I'll be right there. Mm -hmm. This is a map. It's not this area. Its topography is too different. Are they planning on relocating the stronghold? Eh, whatever. Let me put this a little louder. Ah. Alright, everyone take care of things while I'm gone. It is in good hands, boss. Are you leaving, boss? Yes, wink, but do not worry. I promise to return. Okay. Alright now. We'll start with a cave and then a halfway point. Blackstick, you'll obtain the dress of some meat before we get there. Got it, alright. Might as well get going. The weather is nice today. The blizzard has died down considerably. Uh, as cold as it ever was. Our choices are big blizzard or slightly smaller blizzard. Yep, any day where the storm weakens is a lucky day. We almost never get weather like this after all. Wait, is your world a lot brighter than this, Wilkie? Yes, it is. Depending on where you go, I would certainly say blue skies is more common in our world. Though honestly, I haven't have I haven't seen much of it myself, so it's a little silly for me to speak like I'm an expert. Blue sky, huh? For us, this is about as blue as it gets. Hey, when you say blue, you mean blue, blue, right? Do you really get clear skies like that? Sure do. I see. What a weird color for the sky. Not at all. Clear blue sky brings peace of mind to all manner of people. Wink. Of course, different people do prefer a different color of sky. Just it's just true for Yaga, too. Still, for us old-fashioned humans, it is depressing seeing the sky so stormy all the time. Anyway, I can smell demonic beasts nearby. Let's go hunting, Wokey. And with that, eight minutes in. Actual fight. Yay. Loading screen. Loading screen. Loading screen. Mm. Gonna... Perfect. Basically perfection in one go. How does he do it, ladies and gentlemen? Switch on. Devour my soul and punch for both slivelessly shy dead end. Got his ass. Aw, oh, you're not gonna get these, though. Damn it, Betty. And now Mo got hurt. Look what you've done. 
Thanks. And then... Oops, I did the wrong one. I'm supposed to do Betty first so he can get the um, increase. Oh, it's fine. Ended up working out fine. Damn these boars. Okay. Gonna hit him with this, see if that works. Mo should get some of her NP back. I think, what is it, 20% for NP1? I can't believe they didn't translate that to this is a sword that killed my beautiful father. <laughs> cowards. Everyone at the translation team, cowards for not keeping her true words in. Damn, girl! That works out. Dota? Oh, it's not kid one, so he doesn't do the Dota. Dota. I do the Dota myself. Alright. I should be able to kill one shot with everything, whatever's next. Battle 3 and 3. The Book Horn. Perfect. Like I said, perfect. This should hopefully kill. But hey, maybe not. Claret Bud Offer. This is a sword that penetrated my beautiful father. Night. Buster. You got his Betty. Not enough. Ooh! Yes, you did get it. <laughs> Good job, Betty. Bad total finish. Ooh, very nice. Man, I'm still super impressed with you guys. Hmm? What's that scent? Someone fart? That's no demonic beast that smells like Yaga blood. It's most likely too late to help, but we should go check it out nonetheless. Hey, I found them. Although... What up? I mean, what's up? I see. They're dead. I suppose they had an unlucky encounter with demonic beasts. No, it's not that. They were killed by a weapon, and a friendly sharp one at that. No Yaga sword or hatchet could cut it clean, so cut so clean. The skin is much tougher than any human, so the only way to cut through them is to use a very sharp weapon or a truly powerful blow. Could it be a Yaga hunting other Yaga with a blade? Or maybe there's a demonic beast whose blade's like this? I've never heard of anything like that. There's, And then there's this, these footsteps. There, These are no Yaga prints, these are human prints like yours. Like ours. Come to think of it, we heard someone who protected a Yaga village from bandits. Oh uh, yes, the one who supposedly sliced off the bandit's arm in an instant. This may indeed be our swordsman, but there's no little to no evidence to be certain. It could also be another servant we know nothing about, after all. We shall have to keep all that in mind. Now come on, the sun is going to set soon. We can, ray we can rest in a cave up ahead. Wink. Foxy, will you drain our prey's blood? Fire effects. Erp. Guess this stench would be a lot for a human to take. Just sit tight, you can make most of it go away by drinking the blood and letting it sit in water mixed with salt and herbs for a while. I'll put the entrails aside too. If you boil them and keep them in a leather pouch, they can work as a lure for demonic beasts. If things get bad, you can just toss it and the things will be running after it. Are the entrails edible? Inedible. Mm, technically no, but they don't exactly taste great. Plus, they're really poisonous. They're real poisonous. They must contain a lot of toxins. It'd be safe to just avoid them then. Yep, but the back meat's safe. Here, I just finished cooking some. Go on, eat up. Pretty got a wild flavor. It reminds me of a lot of boar meat. Bear hair? Bear hair? Bear, huh? What sort of creature is that? Is it weak? Does it taste good? Is it filling? Foam foam. 
You know, the more I look at that thing, the stranger it seems. From my perspective, it is you, Yaga, who are the real wonder. I still cannot fathom how your kind has managed to survive this frigid world. It does regularly fall below minus 100 degrees at night and particularly cold days. I don't see how even merging with demonic beasts lets you survive. Don't go around asking other Yaga about that. It's considered a serious taboo. Hmm? There was a time, back before we had guns that could kill demonic beasts, when we used to eat weak Yaga. Well, you know how people used to breed livestock, right? Artificial, artificial selection, I think they called it. That's how we survived this long, too. The weak were weeded out, the strong and weak were analyzed to see what separated them, and the strong were prized above all else. After we merged with demonic beasts, we ate those who were swallowed by their power or couldn't handle it. Couldn't ever see themselves going on like this. Next, we feed on the young and the sickly, followed by those who were just straight up weak. After all, after all that, we stopped just being a combination of demonic beasts and human. We started being Yaga. My old man told me that told me where our name came from a long time ago. It was something like Baba Yaga, I think. Baba Yaga. That's a figure from Slavic folklore. I believe she was a man-eating witch. They say that's where we got the idea. Started calling ourselves Yaga. That's how we started calling ourselves, set apart from the old frail humans. Or maybe because we were willing to kill and eat our own kind. Anyway, now you know why we're called that. Reminds us to never forget what we did. Somebody named us Yaga for a reason. So when you get right down to it, we really aren't like you guys. No, maybe not. We are weak and frail, which is why we banded together. To be honest, I feel rather at home among this Yaga society. Except when it comes to the children. I have no problem with grown-ups fighting and eating each other, but children... You always did like kids. That is none of your business. Maybe that's why the other Yaga accepted you as their boss. A new blizzard began at nightfall and it never stopped. We ended up waiting for the cave overnight. Even when morning came, it was only marginally brighter than it had been at night. But for a Yaga like me, the light is more than enough. After all, I could still clearly make out Woki as she was sleeping in a dimly lit cave. She still had her eyes closed, but she was quite, quietly talking in Mash's protection. Even though I didn't feel right listening in on that. Besides, I could tell from her expression that they weren't talking about anything important, let alone me. Atlanta, though, she had her eyes closed, but I was pretty sure she, was at, she wasn't actually sleeping. Just turning and looking at her bit made her furrow her brow, or turned away pretty quickly. If I'd kept looking on at her for just one second, I'm sure she had opened her eyes. Elanta's no Yaga, but she looks more like one of us than she does human. That's probably why the Yaga trust her. She's only a little different from us. That's not true for Woki, though. It's just the way she looks, there's something fundamentally different about her. A long, long time ago, I left something behind that I just couldn't take anymore. It nags at me now just a little bit, like a little thorn jabbing at me in the chest. Nevertheless, I decided to just put it out of my mind. Close my eyes, fall asleep, and not think about anything. Do loading, connecting. All right, and that's it for today's video. It's decently long enough. Till next time, everyone. I'll see you guys in whatever video I decide to record. It's going to be kind of a grab bag. Whatever you never know was going to be released while I'm asleep. So, goodbye, and until next time, see you later.